Fish Hi Hold everybody, on. welcome to the show day at 3 Strelitzia Avenue, uh, Cresta. So just a little bit about the house before we go inside. Um, oh, it's a terribly rainy day unfortunately. So um, yes, so let me explain to you about the, the house. So it's um, on the hill next to um, Robin Hills and um, uh, up above Cresta and up above uh, Windsor East. So it's in quite a good location, just off Malibongwe, um, where the houses are fairly expensive on the ridge. Um, and um, the home is in a very quiet street, lovely tree lined street, with jacarandas. Perhaps I can just show you. The jacarandas aren't blossoming as yet, but a very nice tree lined, tree -lined street. Um, okay, so um, the home is on the market at 2,350,000 Rand. They are negotiable. Um, so let us have a look and let us go into the home and I'll show you the house quickly. So to start off, I'll show you outside. Um, you've got a double carport over there, double garage over here. for we'll entrance into the house over there. A double parking over here with a net over it. And then you've got a drive, another driveway over there as you can see, and then the servants' quarters in the corner over there. So that is the back of the home. So off we go. Let's go into the house. Um, sorry, again, terrible weather, pouring with rain. Got a very nice uh, courtyard over here. I'm going to switch it this way, sorry. With a Jojo tank over here to collect rain water. So, water. so today you are collecting water to water your garden. Then we'll run in over here into the entrance. Um, okay. So this entrance leads up into the house. To the left would be to the master bedroom and what they call the fifth bedroom. And to the right down the passage would be down to the main uh, living quarters of the, uh, the sort of lifestyle area of the house. Reception areas. Directly in front of us, you see a, a door with a little uh, cupboard and it's actually a little passage in which there are two bedrooms and a bathroom. So very nice if you've got young kids or older kids that want to be private or you want to close the door so that the kids can actually go inside and into their bedrooms and be private in there. So coming down here, that is the door into the double garage. Over here you have what is a study or it could be a private lounge, etc. And then we go into the bedroom over here. So this is a very nice space for a guest suite or for an office. Um, or for an older child who's at university or, you know, in the late years in, in high school or so forth. So from here, we go into the bathroom. So it's got a bath with a basin, toilet, uh, and so forth. Very nice vanity, and it's got a shower in the bath. So this is easy to turn into a bathroom with a shower. Um, okay, let's come back out of here and we go back through here and we're going to go back to the entrance and um, we're going to now go upstairs. So, sorry, that is my little assistant sticking his, his head around the corner. <laughs> his name is Vuyo and he's my assistant. Right, up the stairs we go, down the passage over here, we have the guest uh, toilet for your guest to come to the cloakroom if they need to. And in through here, the kitchen. I'm going to come back to the kitchen. So let us head down here. Um, you're going to see me in the mirror, but that's okay. We don't worry about that. Okay. So this is the formal lounge. So I'm going to stop right over here and show you. Um, to the back there behind the couch and the lovely flowers on the table are glass doors, glass wooden doors that open up onto the outside garden and up the stairs to the swimming pool. Um, then if we go there, you have a bar, and it's quite a nice space. I'm going to go this way around. We'll come back to the dining room and the kitchen. So yeah, you have a bar. So if you're not a person that um, wants to have a bar, this could be, I guess, just a nice serve, serving hatch for your day where you're having a bra or so forth. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a bar but this family uses it as a bar. Uh, let me turn around. 
There's the doors that looks into the garden, looks onto the pool, and as you can see, it really is pouring with rain. I'm going to dare going outside into the garden in the pouring rain so that I can show you guys what it looks like in the garden. Okay, going to come back down here. So that is where we came from. There is the lounge, so you get the perspective. All right, here is the dining room. Very nice, bright, sunny dining room. That looks into the sort of laundry courtyard. Okay, the, what's nice about this is that the dining room is open plan to the kitchen. But yet, the and, it, and it's open plan to your formal lounge. There we go. So there you can see, there it is, like that. And there's the kitchen. So what's nice about it is that the kitchen is open plan to the dining room, but it is hidden from your lounge. So when you've had your dinner and everything goes into the kitchen, it means that it's tucked away and it's out of the way. Um, and then obviously it's also got the passage to pass from the passage on the other side. You have your, your door into your kitchen from where the guest cloakroom is. Lovely kitchen, nice granite top uh, surfaces, white cupboards, um, electric oven, uh, um, glass top stove. Um, okay, nice place for the, for the double door fridge. Your wash up over there, your grocery cupboard over here. I'll open it up for you and you can have a look and see. So, you know, lots of stock can go into there. Lots of shelves, stand away a little bit. And you can see there it's a full height cupboard. Right, then we're gonna go through here. And this leads us into the laundry. Very nice, big laundry. This could add, double up as a second kitchen, I guess. Or well, you could put your scullery in here and you can have more kitchen cupboard space in the kitchen. Um, but a very nice big laundry. And that comes out here into a nice private courtyard with a door out into the main street. So there with a second parking lot, is it a second gate, second driveway? This leads out onto that. And there is a little servant's quarter. It's got a little bathroom, a little kitchen, and a, a bedroom. Okay, let us head back here. As you can see, quite a nice big space. Already there is a, a, a wash, wash up over here. So this very easily could become your scullery and laundry, or it could become, as I said, an added space for cupboards and so forth. For your kitchen, you could put more cupboards over here if you wanted to. All right, and then I'll go back in here and just show you. So there is, this, is the kitchen. You could take those cupboards and turn them into um, a solid cupboards and take up the top and put a solid a granite top on, and then you would have a lot more cupboard space. And your zincs are then in the in the in this then that would what would be a scullery stroke laundry. Okay, we're gonna go back out here, back into the dining room, back into the main lounge. And I'm going to take you through here to this really, really fabulous um, entertainment side of the, of the property. So, yeah, you have quite a nice kind of space where um, your guests can hang out at the bar. If you, As I say, once again, if you're that kind of a person, but a nice kind of space where the guys can uh, have their, drink their beers um, and or you can serve your cocktails from here or whatever. So, a nice space coming into what is your entertainment lounge or your family lounge or your second lounge whichever you'd like to call it okay very nice fireplace quite cold today so we have the fireplace going as you can see there's the fires what's nice about this fireplace is that it is high enough for it to be an indoor braai during winter when it's pretty cold and chilly you don't need to have your braai outside you can braai inside in here and that's fantastic. The smoke is pulled right up to the top. So all the smoke and the smell of the briar would go up. Then we come out through glass doors here. Let me just give you perspective. There is the bar area. Okay, we've got, sorry about the noise of the music, but you've got a, a larper, quite a nice high larper. Let me show you. Okay, quite a big larper, got quite a lot of space. You go this way and come out into the larper you can see there quite a big space um you could quite easily they've got um blinds they've got roll down blinds on the one space but you could put roll, roll down blinds right across over here they've actually got just got a um a 
blinds you put in front of windows, the wicker, the, the wicker ones. Okay, another bra outside. As I said, a nice pool. I'm going to dare this into the garden because I really need to show you this. It's so stunning. And I'm going to get out into the rain now. And I'm going to show you this very exciting place over here. Okay, so pool over here. Nice uh, into little entertainment space under this little, little sort of thatched space. Okay, we're going to walk away so I don't fall into the pool by mistake. But yeah, you can see quite a nice big garden as I go through here. Okay, lots of trees, nice forest, really nice forest. So on a very hot day, when it's baking hot, this is really a beautiful shady space where you can also have a bra. They obviously bra quite a lot here. You can see two bras over here, a weeb and another one. Okay, with a nice little pathway down into the garden over here. You see, nice sort of space under the trees. Really lovely, really, really, really lovely. Okay, and then over here, just such a really foresty feel. Little bird feeders, um, really nice space. And then through here, there's another little walkway that goes to a table over there, so you can sit and have uh, lunch out here, or tea in the morning, or whatever you want on a very hot day. Okay, and enjoy your little forest. There we go, there that goes up there to the little forest. Let me zoom in for you and zoom out. Okay. And now I'm drenched. <laughs> anyway, we're not going to worry. I'm so excited to show you this house. Um, it really is a lovely space. Um, so, let us go back inside. There are the glass doors of the other lounge. Okay. There's the rest of the house, just so that you understand the flow of it. Okay, we're coming back down here through the drip, drip, drip. Okay, we're back under cover. Okay. Off we go, back through into the entertainment lounge. All right, and off we go. Back past the bar, back into the formal lounge. And quite a big space, hey? They really are big, big spaces. I mean, this is a, a very big couch and another two-seater couch and another two-seater couch. And you've got all this space over here. So big, big rooms. Both these lounges are really big there we get that perspective over there again okay i'm going to turn the camera around i'm going to talk to you from my, from my side so you can see my face while i walk down the passage um uh, so um i want to just turn it back so that you can understand where we're at there are the stairs sorry there's a horrible cloth down on the floor there but just to protect the, the floors from the from the rain okay then we're going to come in here, we're going to swing it around. Okay, so this is an interesting little passage. There's the door. There's the door like that. And it has a little passage going into one bedroom. And the little passage with a, with a cupboard, a little linen cupboard, and going into the second bedroom. So I'm going to go into one bedroom and show you. So really nice children's bedrooms. As I say, if they're young kids, you can close them in at night and they can... Do their thing and play in here and be alone. If it's older kids, they can lock themselves in there, close themselves in, and they can do their own thing here with their friends. As you see, there's the door into the passage on the right. Here's the little passage. Excuse the kitty kitty box. Okay, we come over here, and it's got quite a <laughs> quite a funky bathroom. It's a pink bathroom, so a little bit dated, but I find it quite cute for kids. Um, I don't find it too offensive at all. It's quite nice. Okay, we come in here, and you've got a second bedroom over here. Nice for, for as I say, for either teenage kids or younger kids. Okay, there's the cupboard doors, and we go back out of here. Okay, and you get the idea. Now, I'm going to go back to the entrance hall, and I'm going to go up a few stairs. So this is an interesting space. They call this, directly ahead of us, their fifth bedroom. However, one could make this a complete suite. So that fifth bedroom, before I go further, that fifth bedroom could be, they use it for an, an older child, but it could be a great nursery for uh, a baby, if you've got a very young baby, or for a little toddler or something like that, to have the bedroom close to mom and pop. Um, the bedroom is to the right, nice, very big bedroom. Alternatively, one could turn this into a suite with a private lounge, because off that small bedroom, the one right, right ahead of us, 
there is an amazing terrace above the uh, garages, the double garage. You've got a beautiful terrace and that has a very nice view sort of west over um, towards uh, what would it be? Ram Park Ridge and where lifestyle nurseries are if you know Johannesburg. Um, so that would be a very nice view. Unfortunately, unfortunately, unfortunately <laughs> today we won't see it because it's very cloudy. But it is a very nice view. Um, it's not, uh, you know, a view of high rise or anything, but it's just a nice, pleasant sort of view across the forested suburbs with a few mountains in the back. So, very big bedroom. Master bedroom is really very big. Um, if one were to, you can see out this window, if one were to clean the space a little, just unshrub and unleaf it a little, you would get that same view. As I say, today you cannot see it because of the weather. Um, let me get away from the bottle that's standing there. But um, you could make the window lower, you know, down to where the shelf is of the bottle standing on, or even lower, and you would have a very nice feature view out, and it's much higher than your neighbor, than if you can see the neighbor's roof is over here. Um, sort of through here. Let me see if I can see it. There it is. Can you see it? Okay, so it would be much higher than the neighbor's roof. So they wouldn't be able to really see in here. And then you have that view into your garden. Okay, and then I'm going to show you the bathroom. Let's come here. It's a sort of grey bathroom. Quite a nice bathroom. It's got a spa bath in it. Um, and it's got a basin. So you may want to upgrade this, make it more, more modern. Um, but it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not an offensive bathroom. It's very nice. Um, very nice cupboards, lots of cupboards. Um, as I say, beautiful uh, bathroom, nice, cool gray. Um, if you wanted to um, redo the bathroom, it would be pretty easy to do it, but I wouldn't think it's necessary at all. Okay, nice, big, big, big bedroom. Okay, let's go out of here. And we're going to go in here into this other room which currently, as I say, is there, one of their chosen, one of their son's bedrooms. So this could be, again, I'll mention it, a nursery, a little toddler's room, grown-up teenager's room, if you've got, if you've got too many kids. Um, or it could be a very nice little private lounge for you to entertain from over here yourselves. You know, have, come in and have your morning coffee, come and sit and watch the sunset, all that kind of thing. So I'm going to come out of here. Try not to stand in the rain too much. I'm now sopping wet. As you can see, there are all the jacarandas on either side of you. You're now above the garage. And to that side, down there, would be the view of the mountains and towards where Lifestyle Nurseries are. So it's quite a long view, kind of far away in the distance. So this is a very nice space to utilize. Um, all right, so now I'm going to just run through a couple of things with you. If you're an investor and you want to buy this property to develop, um, that would be uh, very possible. Um, I have spoken to the town planners, um, Corporate Dar Lombard, and they have given me in writing uh, a document that states that the council would, would support, not approve yet, so they get information from the council that they would support I'm going to turn this up so I can talk to you, you can look at me. The council would support a um, application to make this a higher density. Um, so you could do, the, the property size is big enough, so you could do a, a densification of up to eight units on here in the garden. So in other words, you could either keep the house and um, break down the, you know, fill the garden with, with units. Um, and you could turn this house into perhaps two units. Alternatively, you could um, break the whole house down and you could build eight independent units. Um, what's also quite interesting is if you, are a, if you are an investor, you could very easily turn this into a number of units just by utilizing what you've got on the property already in this main house. So let me run through it. Your double garage and the downstairs um, guest suite, with the, which could be your uh, your home office or your office, office in your guest suite or a space for an older child or, or, or a mother and father or something like that. 
that could all be turned into one unit. So you could have a lounge and a kitchen where the double garage is. You've got plenty of parking throughout the front back of the property onto the street. Plenty parking. Um, come up the stairs, turn around the corner, go up the stairs. And that unit, that, that section where it is the master bedroom and that second little bedroom or study or nursery with a patio out, all of that could be turned into another unit. Come back down the stairs and go to that little passage with the door, um, with the two bedrooms. Uh, very easily, because the house is a little bit raised from the ground, because the, the ground slopes away, you could quite easily extend one of the bedrooms into um, uh, a lounge and a kitchen and you could have a bedroom, a bathroom and a kitchen and it's got its own door with its own little passage. So that would be quite easy. Come further this way, close up, go into the kit where the kitchen is, um, into there and you could use the kitchen and the laundry um, as, a, as another unit. Let me close up where the dining room is. Come this way into where I'm actually sitting in the dining room, the dining room and this lounge, and half the, the um, bar could be a kind of an open plan, or you could put it into a bedroom and a lounge. Uh, you could have a bedroom, a kitchen, uh, and a lounge, kind of all open plan, and a bathroom, kind of half the bar. Or the front part between the two. You could close off and have the bar as a bathroom for the one side, and that little nice place where I showed you where it goes from the one lounge to the other, you could use that as a second bathroom. So you could have two bathrooms. Um, uh, that would be another unit. So we've now got the end piece where the, where the lounge is um, with the fireplace or entertainment lounge. That could be turned into a bathroom and a, a kitchenette and so forth as well. So you could have another small unit there, kind of a bachelor unit, and your servants' quarters could be turned into another unit. So you could get, uh, let us start, servants' quarters one, where the main, where the guest, guest lounge is two, where the main lounge and the dining room is three, where the kitchen and the laundry is four, where the two kids' bedrooms are five, where the main bedroom is six, and downstairs, uh, where the um, little bedroom is, you could have uh, the guest suite downstairs. You could have quite a big uh, place over there, including the two bathrooms. So that's seven units. You probably get on an average, let's say, seven thousand, so seven, six or seven thousand rand a unit. So you can work that out. So that would be quite a good investment without having to do anything to the property. If you wanted to, you probably could still build one or two little. Uh, little cottages in the garden. So this could become a very nice kind of targeted. I would do it quite an upmarket finish and you could do quite a nice target at young professionals and make this a very nice kind of space for young professionals of made up of little apartment units. So that's an alternative. So now what I'd like to do is um, I'd like to just discuss with you. So if you are interested in making an offer um, you can go onto our website and you can get hold you can get hold of us that way. You can contact me on 072-147-2946. My name is Arthur again. Um, or you can email me at Arthur A R T H U R at Art House Properties A R T H O U S E P R O P T R E S Properties dot C O dot Z A. Arthur at Art House Properties and I will get back to you and we can discuss it. If you'd like to come and view the property, we can make an appointment. Otherwise, you can go onto Private Property or Property 24 and you can get hold of me via that way. You go to Cresta and you look up the property. It's on, it's number three, um, Strelitzia Avenue. So we would love to have you to come around and view the property and so forth. Um, and, and obviously then we can make an offer with you. Um, the other thing I'd like to discuss with you, um, um, is uh, um, just to give you a bit of a rundown as to um, if you want to get a bond, how that works, um, and so forth. Um, that is a very easy thing to do. We will assist you with the bond, and you can um, apply for the bond through us, or alternatively, you can go straight to a bank, or you can use any other bond attorney. I mean bond originator. 
um, and then we will discuss with you from there, once I see you, how the process happens from there once you've made your offer. Obviously, once it's accepted, it will then take, uh, your bond will get, get approved, and then it'll go to the attorneys, and you'll get your bond attorney will first uh, uh, get all the guarantees signed up with you, and then the transferring attorney will then call you and the buyer in, sign the documents, and the process will follow from there. But that I can explain to you either in another live uh, uh, broadcast or on the, on the day when we're signing the offer. Thank you very much for listening and I hope you love the property. Again, I'm Arthur and the property is situated at 3 Strelitzia Avenue in Cresta. Um, it's on the little ridge close to uh, uh, Malibongwe, next to Robindale, uh, Robin Hills. And um, it's a very nice location. It's a stylish upmarket area. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.